Good morning guys, it is Monday, it's 6.26 and I have started or decided to start vlogging again. So my last camera I had was shocking, the audio was always rubbish, so it just made me like not want to pick up the camera because I'd film all day, go to the computer and then the audio would sound like a Dalek, like a robot. So I went and bought myself a new camera and I've decided I want to vlog again but I'm gonna get up because that is my thing I have to get up and get out of bed or I will fall back asleep again so I normally like get up get my coffee and then I am fully functional I can think again so I'm gonna get up get my coffee and then I will go through what we're gonna be doing today so yeah time to get up Ah. It's coffee time. Okay, sorry. I feel kind of a little bit more like me again. Got my coffee. So today's video, really excited to start vlogging again. I've got some amazing things coming up over the next year and I thought it was time I wanted to kind of take you along the journey with me. Also, had started to run out of ideas for YouTube. So I thought it was time to start vlogging. So today's video is going to be a good one. This morning, if you've not already noticed, if you don't follow me already, my hair colour has changed. It didn't go exactly the colour I wanted to because we did leave the bleach on for too long. Got kind of olive oil, uh, olive oil? Yes, no, ol oh, what's it called? Uh, oh my god, my mind. Aloe vera. Oh my god, I didn't think of that. I've got, I've got aloe vera in my hair at the minute, so that we're going to tone it today because it has gone a little bit yellowy when I want it more of a grey white. And then, kind of the main reason for this video is because I have some really exciting news I want to share with you later. And I'm going to be showing you a first look at something that no one else apart from my family has seen. Not even my friends have seen this yet. So... Yeah, I'm going to be sharing something with you that you are going to be the first people to see and it's very exciting for me. And then at the end of the video as well, a lot of people have commented or messaged recently asking if I do kind of like a flat tour and I feel like that does kind of connect to what I want to discuss with you today. To anyone that um, may ask, the camera that I've bought I will link down in the description box below. It was the PowerShot G7X Mark II Canon. I'm not great with cameras at all. I always go buy a new one and I buy the wrong one, hence why I've just had to buy another one. So my friend of mine who does vlogging let me know that this one is a good one. So let's see how we get on. So I've just arrived 10 minutes late because living in a flat, you go all the way up to your car park Realise you forget your phone. Oh. Hello? It's a nightmare. Why? I lost my keys this morning. And obviously I'm using my spare key, but I've pulled up to the shop. I was like, oh my God, I don't have the key to get in the shop. <laughs> so I've just rung Elsa. So we have to quickly run to Elsa to get her key. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I don't know where my keys have gone. I was like, I need my car. But then obviously as I've pulled up, I've not got anything else on me. So I'll literally get this. You're on the car. vlog. You're on the vlog, by the way. So this is proof that you're a forgetful person. It will always be documented. Are you joking? No, you can't. You can't. I was already vlogging myself and you called. And I was just about to tell the vlog that I was late because I left my phone in the flat and it's a nightmare having to drive all the way around to go back in and get it. But now I'm not actually late because you've not got the keys. Oh my, no. <laughs> well, I'm here anyway. I'll walk over to you. Oh, it could be worse. All right then, see you in a sec. Right. She's come bearing gifts. She has coffee. <laughs> I brought a latte to a product. Do you want to drive there? Oh, I've got to drive. All right, I'll drive. Come and get in. Come get in. Right, we've got to drive to SARS now to get the keys to then get into the salon to do my hair. So, obviously, I can't drive and vlog at the same time. So, we're in. We made it. We made it in. Time to get me ice white. Well, grey white. 
By the way guys, I went for this really casual gym gear because I thought I'm going to work out when I get home. Can't be bothered to throw on anything nice when I'm literally just going to take it off when I get home. And Sarah's my friend, so she doesn't really care what I look like. So yeah, we're going to do the hair now and then go home and do a workout. I'm dead. Right, I'm gonna shower, sit down on the sofa, and then we can go through my big announcement that I wanna say. And uh, yeah, lost the breath. I'm gonna go and shower, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, there we go. Got you parched up on a chair because I always get a dead arm holding the camera out and then it starts shaking. Right. Breathe. Had a really hectic afternoon. Ended up doing a gym workout, as you saw. Then I had to shower, had some food. Then I forgot I had to manage this calls. But I am here now, ready to chat to you guys and share some really exciting news. I have just forgot that I forgot my peppermint tea. Is that okay. Now, I'm ready to chat to you guys. So over the past couple of months, I have been viewing house properties and I never really th uh, found anything that I really fell in love with. I'm very picky when it comes to, to finding a house. Um, last year I thought I was ready to buy a house and my accountant told me I wasn't. And then this year due to lots of saving and not being an idiot buying loads of stupid things, my accountant told me I was ready to buy. I thought I'd walk into the first property, see it and be like, yes, love it. Not quite like that. I was finding faults with everything, had to kind of write a list and work out what things I liked and kind of wanted from a house. And I think over the time of being in lockdown, it gave me the time to really reflect and think about what I really wanted. And being in lockdown, I was looking at what properties were available. I looked a little bit further out from where I am living now and all my friends live. Oh, I need to breathe, I'm out of breath from running over there. Um, and I found a place that was about 10 minutes up the road that wasn't yet built. So it's just a plot of land that's having about 200 houses built. I'm a very impatient person, you could say. So like if I went into a store to buy a new pair of shoes and they didn't have my size, I would purchase a different pair because I was going in there to buy a pair of shoes. So I'd walk out with a pair of shoes. So kind of going to look at this plot with not seeing an actual house there I was like, oh, I don't know, I'll have to wait ages for it to be built and everything. But after kind of designing my own home, which I'm going to show you in a minute, you are the first people apart from my family to see this. I haven't shared it anywhere. Um, after designing it online, because with this company that I'm buying through, you can completely design your own home. I kind of created my dream home. I am so in love with it and I haven't even seen it yet. I'm going to the showroom on Friday this week so I am going to be vlogging that which will be on a separate vlog next week. I just know that I'm going to fall in love with it. I've created it how I want it but I think one thing I always wanted was a, a brand new home designed how I wanted it and it's sad to say goodbye to this flat. I am only renting this flat. I feel like I've outgrown this flat. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom flat on my own. It's felt safe, secure, I'm on like a higher floor. I'm not gonna tell you what floor because someone from a YouTube video before has seen my door number and sent me letters. So it's a higher up floor. I feel safe at the end of a corridor. So it is quite scary to think I'm moving into this house on my own, but I am so excited. Living in Leicester, house prices are like half of what they are here in Essex. Thought when I moved up this way, I would never be in a position to buy a house. And I think working hard, um, been saving mega hard, and just really putting kind of good positive energy out there that I was gonna buy one, now has come the time. So I'm gonna take you over now to see the plans of the house. I just love it so much. Let me know what you think as well, guys. So, get it up. Don't wanna show you my password. Sorry for the mess. This 
will be my new house. So obviously it's the 3D version, but I can picture it exactly how it's gonna be. Oh, no. Uh, zoom. Right. So the front, I am having all black brick. I just feel like I like white with everything, but I want a really bold house. And it has these, the, the company that make them or design them are Scandinavian. So they have these really big windows downstairs, all the big windows upstairs as well. On the side, you've got a big window where the staircase is. And I just like a lot of light coming through. Obviously, I'm filming, taking pictures. I like all these big windows at the back. And then I am having three floors. So the top floor here, where it's got a big window, I'll show you in a minute, but that's going to be my office and studio. You've got your garden at the back, and then the driveway will be here. So loving the fact, got lots of space. The garden actually, I've been told, is quite big. I'm really throwing this around now, it's quite hard to control. Garden's quite big, so I, I can do something amazing with the garden as well. So this is the design that I'm having. I'm having a complete open plan. Kitchen, dining room, living room. Here is where you come in through the front door and you've got your utility room and your bathroom and stairs. Can't wait to host here because I hate when you kind of close off the kitchen and people are in the living room, you're cooking here, can't talk. So just love the fact that the light will come all the way through downstairs. Going on to the first floor, so you've got the master bedroom here where I'll be with the ensuite. Another bathroom here with an actual bath. This is going to be my dressing room, which is going to be one of the first things I do when I get in, getting all interior designers to come in and customise my dressing room. This third bedroom is going to be a spare room, so I'm just going to have a double bed in there, very simple for when guests and my family and stuff come and stay. And then go on to the top floor, which is in the roof, and they build this up higher as well, which you could probably tell from the outside bit. You've got storage here which is what I need because I have too much stuff. And then the hallway coming up the stairs and then obviously the fourth bedroom which is gonna be my office and studio. So yeah, going back to the outside, you'll see that they raise it up here so it's a lot higher. But I am just gonna take you back over there because you don't wanna sit staring at a computer screen. Focus, 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 yes. What's going on? So yeah, oh, one second, my chair's stuck under the table. It's... Okay, so yeah, I'm super excited. I cannot wait to start on this project. I feel like buying a house is a new chapter in your life. It's like the next step. Um, I have actually got some other really exciting news that I'm gonna share very soon, but I don't wanna overwhelm this video with too much today. So there is gonna be something else that's happening in the next actually couple of weeks. So that will be first. Um, so keep your eye out for that. But yeah, to anyone who's bought a house, you, you'll probably just know how exciting it is getting on the property ladder. I, I feel really excited as well for my parents because I just wanna make them proud. And I feel like buying my own property, doing it on my own as well, was something that I just never thought I would do. And I, I can also say it's kind of my dream home. I don't know if I'll be in this forever because I've always envisioned myself in some huge house. Don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to afford that, but it's definitely on my vision board, so hopefully. This flat, which I'm gonna show you a little bit of the flat tour in a minute, um, you'll see it's very basic. It's very Ikea, which there is nothing wrong with Ikea, but because it's not my own flat because I was renting it, you can never really make it completely your own. This has got carpet in here and stuff. I don't really like carpet. So I'm just looking forward to, to having a property that everything I do is for me and I'm paying kind of a mortgage for my own place. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and share my exciting news with you because I'm so kind of like looking forward to getting stuck into the project. I wanna take you on the full journey with me. Obviously next week I'll be taking you to the showroom, well this Friday, and then obviously next week I'll be showing you. I'm gonna pick the camera up and give you a quick tour of my flat. So you'll understand, obviously, the reason why I wanted to move into a house is because I'm shooting all the time and this is kind of like the, my one space. So my balcony is here. Actually quite a nice view. You've got the high street down there. Don't actually really spend much time on this balcony, but coming into, obviously, the living room and kitchen, 
very simple sofa, probably the wrong colour because it gets so dirty. I've recently just put some prints up because the walls were so plain. But yeah, it's not very tidy by the way guys, I do apologise because I didn't really plan to do this. Um, just my little area, I like to work in my kitchen and living room because I like to feel like I'm in the living room watching TV and stuff at the same time. I hate to just sit in an office, I feel like it's too corporate for me. Kitchen, obviously when you go in a flat as well, you can't design your own kitchen. I want something all white, all clean, kind of marbly looking. In my apartment, I'm probably gonna get marble tiles all the way through kind of the downstairs. So having this, it was a really nice kind of nice thing to move in on my own and have all this space myself, but it's time now to start kind of doing something myself. Can't get my words out. So yeah, this is the kitchen. And then, see mess on the floor. That's the front door. You've got this bathroom. I don't even know how this is gonna look. Oh, it's clean. This bathroom. Again, this would all be white when I do my bathroom. And then, it's quite a long hallway to be fair. It has really done well for me. I've loved this flat, but it's time for me to move. This is my dressing room, office, studio, all of it. Now it's not the biggest space, but I'm grateful that I have it because in my old place, I didn't really have anywhere for my clothes apart from one wardrobe. So my little desk that I film at, all my shoes, my wardrobes, which are amazing. I have so much space really for one person, but it is not enough space for me. I have to get rid of clothes. I give them to charity and stuff all the time because I just have way too many clothes. So this room then just becomes clogged up. And then the last rooms, a bit of storage in there. And then loads of fragrances. Too many fragrances to be honest. Have this for when I film. And then my bedroom. So yeah, obviously still really nice, very simple. I'm happy with kind of what I did with it, the ensuite shower room. But yeah, it's just not me. Bed now, let's get naked. So yeah, this, this flat has been, let's go over to this window where the light's good. So this flat, oh, wow. It's flat, oh, why does it always go low for me? Right. So yeah, this flat has been amazing for me. I've absolutely loved living here for the past like two years. All my friends live close. I used to live in London, never thought I'd kind of move out of London. This is kind of just on the outskirts in Essex. Um, but yeah, I feel like now at my age, it's all about kind of getting the right place for you and what you're happy with and where I'm moving to. There's still a great line going into London. My friends are kind of a 10 minute drive away and I drive. But in terms of the house, it is my dream house. So yeah, just wanted to kind of come on, share with you some exciting news. Can't wait to take you all along on this journey with me. And I will be seeing you next week. So I'm gonna sign this vlog off here. I've got more things to do today. Um, next week, I'll be taking you obviously along with me to see the showroom. So if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you next week when I cannot wait to see their showroom. So peace out, see you next week.